My name is Pilison Omgongo, a professor in the University of Johannesburg and the NRF Research Chair for Nanotechnology for Water. My research field is in environmental analytical chemistry and nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a, is a field that is used to define materials that is a very tiny, small, small size, and you can't see it with the naked eye, but you use special instrument to see that. Um, when we made them in the lab, and these materials, we then use them to our environmental and analytical chemistry. Uh, I come from Flagstaff in one of the villages, and Flagstaff is along the wild coast. But um, there are lessons that I learned. So, for instance, as I was growing up, my father passed away when I was 10 years old, and my mother was not working. So I am always the person that like to assist, to help. And I could see my mother struggling. And I was 10 years old, so my education at that time cannot help. But what I learned to do was to look for part-time jobs. Then from that stage, I started to learn how to multitask. Because I'll go to school, come back and go and find and work whatever job that I'll be, I'll be doing. Or before I go to school, I'll first go to do my job. One of my jobs was to fetch water for the teachers. I learned a lot from those experiences now because I think they made who I am. And when I get to high school, I, 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 used, I always liked math. I liked uh, uh, sciences. But when I get to high school, I liked chemistry more. I did not know much on what I can do as a chemist, but I knew that this is what I will excel in it because I like it. But on the second year of my studies, then that's when I start to understand that actually chemistry is very useful in our community. Everything we touch, everything we do is chemistry, whether it's your food, whether it's your water, whatever, whether it's your clothes, that's chemistry. That's why I started, okay, I'm actually in the right direction. But it also helped me to answer some of the questions that I had when I was growing up. As I said, one of my jobs was to fetch water. I used to wake up at two o'clock and fetch that water. The reason for two o'clock was that during the day the water was dirty because of the cows and goats and all other livestock. But we'll go at two o'clock because it's clear. And that's where my career started. Uh, when I was doing masters, I made sure that when I discuss with my supervisor, I'll tell my supervisor I would like to do a water-related project. My typical day at work, uh, I am a morning person. Uh, typically, I'm here at half past six to prepare so that that's the time I plan what to do. And I try to make sure that my day is set and I, I know what I'm expecting to get at the end of the day. And uh, in my team, what I have in my team, I have chemists because I train chemists most of the time. But um, when there is a need, we collaborate with other fields like engineering. For instance, if we want to start having uh, some treatment of the water, we will need those skills from the engineering point of view. We also recently started working with people who look at the toxicity because it's of no use of knowing what's in the water and we don't want to assume and say because it's the it's dangerous to people, no. But we work also with people that can help us to map and say, oh, maybe this is going to be toxic or it's not toxic. You know, I think as a, as a person from rural areas, what I enjoy with my work is traveling because it, I've never thought any, like as I growing up, I will ever actually traveled overseas. Uh, I've went to like different countries. And every time I go there, I always ask myself, is it me? Uh, mostly I travel because of work, just to share my work and present. I think first of all, as girls, I, I, I don't know now if it's still the same. When I, we were, when I was still a, a, a learner, you would see that more of the gentlemen are the ones that are doing the science base. And I think we also had that mentality that only gentlemen can do it. But I think uh, the girls, if they, they can look now and check, things are really changing and it's up to us to put ourselves out there and be available and take it. And I think we have more opportunity as girls to do it because we can multitask. 
you know, I've, I've trained student where it will be a student but it's a mother and they do very well. So there is nothing that can stop us, nothing. Because it's, I, I, it's not gender, it's your brain. Gender has nothing to do with you doing math or science or technology. But it's how we, 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 we channel our mindset and we change that. Anyone can do it.